Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Walk with me. My name is Serena. My autoimmune disease is Dimia IgA slash IgG, bolus dermatosis. And so last time I had mentioned about uh, liver cleanse and um, why liver matters and here's why. Um, the liver's main job is to filter blood coming from the digestive tract uh, before it passing on to the rest of the body and the liver also detoxify chemicals and metabolize drugs and it also uh, secrete bile that ends up back in the uh, intestine so that's the function of the liver and so anytime a person uh, experiencing skin problem in traditional chinese medicine um, it will always focus on treating the liver uh, because they have very close relationship uh, with the skin so according to the medical medium um, with the autoimmune disorder disease uh, it was the pathogen and the viral that talks in the liver and deep inside the endocrine system and so the liver or the body is trying very hard of fighting to get rid of it so when it's too much or too overwhelmed and it will overwhelm uh, in capacitate the function of the liver and therefore the liver has to release those toxins it cannot hold on to that anymore and that's when it's um, starting to go all over to the skin so it, my condition it was really rare uh, it's the blistering condition so I remember uh, when I first met met my dermatologist and she asked me if I have this when I was a kid um, or I was on any antibiotics huh? because antibiotics would induce a blistering condition this specific condition and so neither I had uh, I had that in in my childhood or uh, I was on any antibiotics at the time so that um, she just can um, answer me why uh, sometimes autoimmune disease most of the time um, according to um, to the western um, medicine it's it just unknown um, it just happened so have i changed any uh, anything especially my diet um, since since uh, my diagnosis and before I was on um, celery, I was on all the medications and after I was on celery juice and now it's been almost 10 months that uh, I haven't changed much in my diet. I do have certain food to avoid and uh, for example like oysters, um, I would need to avoid that um, just because there was one time I went out to um, to a dinner with some friends and I have three big oysters and that um, a few hours after I started started to have the rash and started to develop the rash and so the next day I did develop a uh, blister but they're minor and so it went away I used the cream and so it went away in a few days and so in July um, during the quarantine I have bought a bottle of Bailey and so I love to drink uh, Bailey and coffee in the morning if I could and so during that time I didn't work and I just get up every morning and I'm enjoying my Baileys and coffee and so um, the first day when I drank and I didn't have any reactions I didn't have any fur up so I didn't I didn't think of it I thought I was good so the end of two weeks uh, that's when I started to noticing rash started to develop and um, I started to feel the heat uh, inside of my body on my palm on my feet and that's when I know I, um, I need to stop and I just cannot uh, so alcohol consumption is restricted is restriction another restriction so um, I try not to eat um, food that contain uh, um, like those inflammation products uh, which is gluten um, high carb um, and sugar 
and other than that I still not having a lot of changes in my diet and so with the book um, it says that it's the best um, um, maximum benefit would be one year um, to get on celery juice to see the benefit of it and so I'm gonna keep my mind open I'm gonna have my open-minded and uh, I will do that for one year and I'm at um, month 10 now at this point and so I'm gonna stop here and um, next time I'm gonna talk about the mind so I'm gonna talk about uh, to explore the mind and so far I have talked about um, my my conditions I have talked about the data um, the things that I uh, the drugs that I have been on uh, all the treatment that I received and I haven't talked about my emotion and so I haven't talked about it was a scary thought it was a scary situation um, for on the onset and so I was lucky enough to uh, my instructor um, to introduce me to read a book uh, it's it called when the body says no and it was written by dr gabor mate and dr gabor mate it's a doctor who is retired now and he is practicing compassionate and he has uh, done a lot of uh, teaching and uh, he has a lot of seminar and so um, in order to go on my healing journey, I need to look into my mind. So next time we will explore the mind and how that affects um, every single patient and including uh, cancer patients and a lot of autoimmune patients. And so it's a very interesting journey yet uh, we do need to adjusting that so we can move on and to be healed so thank you for watching this time we'll talk about it more next time so make sure you subscribe and we'll see you next time bye now